WebStorm 9 comes with support for Meteor, which is an open source platform for creating web applications. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call it to do app. And we see that we have the project type Meteor JS app. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Now I've previously installed Meteor. And once you do, then WebStorm just picks it up. We just have to basically point to the executable. Now I want to go ahead and create the application using one of the existing templates. Uh, we're going to call it to do and select OK. And WebStorm goes ahead and creates the project for me. Now, if we examine the project structure, we can see that it has a bunch of different folders which correspond to this specific template. And it also has the .meteor folder, which is typical of all Meteor applications. Now, WebStorm knows that this folder needs to be excluded so it doesn't index it and potentially have any impact on performance. If we open up one of the files, for instance, to do.js, we can see that we have all of the different symbols highlighted. And in fact, if I start to type, I also get completion. And this is because as this is a Meteor project, WebStorm has automatically configured it as such. So the checkbox for this being a Meteor project is already pre-checked. The next thing that we can do is actually run the applications from here. So let's click Edit Configuration and go ahead and add a Meteor application. And I'll call this Run App. We can leave all this default and we can ask WebStorm to launch the browser for us afterwards. Hit OK and now let's go ahead and run. Browser is now launched and we can start to play with the application. So we'll create a screencast for to do app. Now WebStorm also provides us with the ability to have not only server side debugging, but also client side debugging for Meteor applications. So I've set a couple of breakpoints here in this application. I've set one in the server side code, which is the one that fires up the new collection of to do's. And in the client side code, I've also sent it on the tag filtering. So we're going to go ahead and now debug this application. And we can now see that the application has stopped at the breakpoint set on the server side. And we have information where we can now access all of the variables and we can do step through step by step or run the application completely. And we see that the application now loads in the browser. And now it flips over to the client side and it starts to go through the different steps on the client side and we can complete that and we now have the application fully loaded. Let's go ahead and set that breakpoint again. And if we come here and delete a tag, we can see that the breakpoint again is activated and we can step through and once again launch the application fully. So try out Meteor in WebStorm 9 and let us know what you think.